guys, it's your girl and welcome back to another Uncensored Eats cooking video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I make my dairy-free sauce for my seafood boil. This video is highly requested. A lot of people have been DMing me on Instagram and emailing me asking me how I make my dairy-free sauce for my seafood boil. Today is that day where I'm going to show you my secret and how I make my dairy-free sauce. So um, before we get to this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So let's get into making the sauce and let me introduce to you guys what I have here in front of me. So I'm using coconut palm sugar. You can use regular sugar. You can use regular brown sugar, regular white sugar. I'm using coconut palm sugar as a substitute for brown and white sugar. It still has that sweetness to it, but it's not as sweet. It has a more natural kind of sweetness to it. I am using olive oil butter. This also has canola oil and flaxseed oil in it. And this is my dairy-free butter. I am using Obey seasoning, Worcestershire sauce, a lemon, a scotch bonnet pepper. You don't have to use scotch bonnet pepper. You can use whatever chili pepper you like. I have two onions right here. I have onion powder, red chili flakes, salt and pepper in these two containers right here, garlic powder, Creole seasoning, lobster base, paprika, cayenne pepper, clam juice, and lobster juice. I am using lobster and clam juice in my sauce to make the dish even more flavorful and to heighten the flavor of the dish. Adding water will dilute all the seasonings that you add to your sauce. Adding chicken base would also take away from that natural seafood flavor that you're looking for. So pretty much everything here that I'm using has a seafood flavor to it. So let's move on over to my stove side so we can start preparing our butter sauce. Alright guys, welcome back. We're about to start making our butter sauce. Again, I am using a butter that is made from olive oil, canola, flaxseed, and palm oil. So you want your butter to be completely melted before you do anything else. You would never think this isn't butter. Now that our butter is melted, we're going to move into adding our onions. And we're going to let this come to a boil for two minutes. The reason why I'm adding the onions so early is because I want the the sauce to have that really nice oniony flavor versus putting it in the end and I'm overcooking all my other ingredients in my butter sauce. Once our onions come to a slight boil, I will start adding all my powdered seasonings. I am using 13 ounces of butter. It's a little bit under a pound. You can make this butter sauce in large amounts and freeze it, defrost it, heat it up, and use it whenever you want, or you can just make it for the day. This 13 ounces of butter, along with my 8 ounces of um, lobster juice and my 8 ounces of clam juice, is more than enough to make 3 batches of butter sauce. Alright, now that our onions and our butter came to a boil, we're going to start adding our powdered seasonings. This is 2 tablespoons of paprika, 2 tablespoons of onion powder, 2 tablespoons of garlic powder, a tablespoon of red chili pepper. I'm going to add my clam juice. A little bit of black pepper, a little bit of salt, a teaspoon of lobster base, Obey seasoning, this is a tablespoon, a tablespoon of Creole seasoning, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, my sliced Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper, my lobster juice, Worcestershire sauce. You need a grater or a zester to zest your lemon zest into your sauce. 
You can add lemon zest if you choose. It is optional. You don't have to. I just like to have a bit more lemony feel to my sauce. You can also squeeze fresh lemon juice in it. You only need one lemon. Next, we're going to add our palm sugar. And that is a cup and a half of palm sugar. Our onions are starting to cook down nicely. We're going to let our sauce simmer for about 15 minutes before we pull it off the stove. And after the 15 minutes, your sauce is ready to be served. All right, guys, it's been 15 minutes and our butter sauce is looking really, really good. The onions are cooked down nicely. If you want, you can cook it down a little bit more. You can give it like five more minutes if you choose to. Or if you want that extra onion bite to it, you can just leave it the way it is as is. So um, our sauce is done. We're going to let this rest for about 10 minutes so the butter on top can settle back into the sauce and we're going to pack these up put in a container and cool them down and refrigerate them and like i said you can make this butter sauce in very large amounts and then you can freeze it and take it out whenever you want to use it our sauce is looking really good you can see the butter is starting to settle back into the sauce itself all right guys this is my dairy-free butter sauce for my seafood boil and I like to introduce to you all my uncensored sauce. This is what it's called. Uncensored sauce. Again, it's your girl, Roll from Uncensored Ease. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend. Hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.